Sunny Beverly Hotel in Hollywood, the ultimate in luxurious accommodations. Here you can sleep in comfort and quiet, undisturbed by autograph fans, bright lights, traffic, and frogs. Frogs? Hello there, little fella. Get, Get rid, rid of, of him. him. Or think he likes me? I like you too, Ringo, but I don't croak. Some music critics think you do. Come on, boy, jump. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. wonderful. I've got to give him a name. Uh, Call him Loudmouth. Spot. Rover. Uh, Bartholomew. Bartholomew? Come along, Bartholomew. No dogs allowed. Good. We must keep out the riffraff. <laughs> yeah. Frog! It's a frog! It's a frog. Oh, dear! It's a Look frog! Out. Frog! A frog! Look at the frog! It's a frog! frog. 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 No, 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 frog! It's a frog! Get, Get rid of rid him! Of him. <laughs> Goodbye, Bartholomew. <laughs> Don't worry about him, Ringo. He'll be better off with his own friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ringo, I, I, I just saw your frog at the restaurant today, and I gave me a great idea for the next picture I'm going to produce. I'm going to call it Froggy Come Home. Now, just bring your frog to the set in an hour for a screen test, will you? I'm going to pay you $100 a day. He's the best-looking frog I've ever seen. He is going to be a big, fat star. But I'll uh, just, um... One hour? Yes, sir. We'll be there. Bartholomew! 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 When a frog kisses you, aren't you supposed to turn into a handsome prince? It's the other way around, John. Come on, let's get back to the studio. Here's... here's Bartholomew, your new star. Why, why, he's marvelous, fantastic, incredible, stupendous! I can't use him. What? what? Uh, sorry, boys, the frog in the picture is going to be a parakeet, you see, dressed up in a frog suit. But, 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 uh, why? Why pay you $100 for your pet frog when the company is going to pay me $100 for my pet parakeet? Sorry, Bartholomew, that show business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
for the sing-along. This is the part of the show in which all you people at home join in and sing right along with us. Now, this first song starts off with a real bang. Oh, everything, George. Did I just hear you say this song starts off with a bang? My very words. Well, if you really expect the people at home to join in, you first ought to put them in the right mood. Yeah. The right mood? Certainly. You've got to create the proper atmosphere. Here, I'll show you. What do you think? I think you flipped your blinking wig. Well, you said this next song starts with a... <laughs> Bang! <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you wouldn't rather do smoke gets in your eyes? <laughs> yeah. Sing, people. Well, that was pretty good, but I expect you to do even better on this next number. Just stand right up and shout out the lyrics. Are you ready? Hold it, George. Ain't you forgetting something? Forgetting something? The setting. I keep telling you, you've got to put the audience in the proper mood first. Well, the last time I listened to your suggestion, we were nearly blown to smithereens. Sir, so, now you're exaggerating. Smithereens is a good ten miles from here. What you say? Give us one more chance, eh? Hey? Well, you're all right. This next song is one that really takes off. Take off, you say? Uh, I think I've got just the right thing. Contact! <coughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> you? Let's save it for when we do the flight of the bumble brain. Sing, children.
were doing out here in the middle of the Egyptian desert? With the sun baking down on our noggins and the sand in our teeth. Yeah, what are we doing here? Will somebody answer me? Do you forget, fellas? We're here because a sheik asked us to entertain his harem of beautiful girls. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> yeah. Of all the times to get a flat tire. Look, boys, a camel. Instead of the flat tire, I wish we had a flat camel. I cannot see the beetles. With these veils, we can't even see the desert. How dare you remove your veils? You know that any stranger who gazes upon your unveiled faces will be thrown to the crocodiles. There's the tent. Whoa! <laughs> Blimey, that camel has good brakes. You have gazed upon the faces of my harem girls. You must be punished. I think we already have been. Throw them to the crocodile. Master, wait. Before you throw them to the crocodiles, let them play one song. Yeah, we'll even play two. <laughs> Very well. There is a way to freedom for us all. Our father has sent us a spy to help us escape. He will reveal his identity at the mention of a password. The word is love. Let's say the word in our song. Now, throw them to the crocodiles. Goodbye, girls. Nobody answered to the password, love. Goodbye, love.